Hey Tribe! Welcome to the HGDC, HG Designs Crochet Channel. I'm Heather, your host. If you are a new subscriber, hello. And if you're coming back, welcome. So first of all, I just want to say a big thank you. I reached 100 subscribers last week. Last week and it's still increasing. So thank you to everybody that's subscribing, everybody that's liking my videos and for everyone that commented on my last video. In my last video I said that I'm going to be doing a giveaway which is some wool which I've got just there and a project bag that I've started to make as well as a few other goodies such as a stitch marker and some secret bits and bobs. So I asked that for you to be entered into that you comment below that vlog with a question for me to do in my question answer for 100 subscribers. So thank you to all of you that have commented and questioned, given me a question rather. Um, it's really nice to interact with you all and know I'm not just talking to myself. So the question and answer video will be the next one after this, all going well. Today I am going to be talking about my finished object, my nearly finished object and um, a couple of whips. So that before we get started, I'm on social media. I'm on Twitter as HG Designs Crow, C R O. I am on Instagram, HG Designs Crochet. There's a Facebook page, HG Designs Crochet. I'm on Ravelry under my name, Heather Griffith, all one word. I don't use that much, but I want to. And I got my first friend on there the other day. Um, and I also need to let you know that my blog is going to be going. I'm going to let it go. That's a decision that I've made, um, I've decided that I have too many focuses and there's a lot of things that are only getting half done or half the attention and I'm getting these feelings of guilt because I'm neglecting them and so I've decided I'm simplifying and the blog is going. My main focuses will be YouTube and Twitter, um, I still will be posting to Instagram and Facebook but I don't post as often as maybe you'd like me to. Um, I think that's all the announcements. Yes, so let's crack on with the finished object. Um, I have finished my first ever garment so let me show you. It's an off the shoulder oversized sweater. Oh, I love it. Um, it. I finished it like this morning. Well, I sewed in the last ends this morning. Um, so it's a cropped jumper. It comes to sort of my waist. I've got high waisted jeans on. Um, it's got a really open neck, so it's quite slouchy, and I'm wearing it off one shoulder. If I was to, I could hook it up like that, but it falls down anyway. Um, yeah cropped oversized sweater. I'm really really pleased with it. Um, I was a little bit worried when I started it because this is gifted yarn that the colour would look rubbish on me but it doesn't. So this is some of the leftover yarn. I feel like there needs to be a big fanfare that this is my first finished garment. Um, this is Bamboo Aran that my mother gave to me. Um, there was 400 grams. I think there's there's this left. Um, so I think I've probably used just over 300 maybe. I do need to weigh the sweater but I don't want to take it off to do that. Um, so that's the leftover yarn. I used um, my 9mm Addy needles that are glitter. Um, which are on a 80 centimetre cable or if you're in the US these are size 13 and it's 32 inch. Um, so it was knit in the round. I used a free pattern. I've got here, it's the oversized sweater knitting pattern by the Eat Me blog. They did it in a nice pink. Um, and I cast on the small so I cast on 64 stitches 
um, and I just did the size as written here, I didn't increase it in any way. I am really, really pleased with it. I even swatched for this one, which is, then got a pull in it. I even swatched, um, was really unsure on the colour, but actually it works really well. I'm really, really pleased with this. So it's my first garment, garment, I might have mentioned that a few times, um, and I was a little bit apprehensive and so I did procrastinate on it a lot. I think if you'll go back to my very first few vlogs you'll see that I cast it on maybe November 2017. Um, because it's all this simple stitch I did get a bit bored of it. I didn't really push myself so you work the front panel, the back panel, the two sleeves and you sew it all together. Um, I really really was worried about sewing it together. I, th I thought it was going to be so difficult and I just YouTubed um, maybe Sorella, maybe, I, yeah, I think I looked at Sorella and it was so simple, that bit keeps sticking up, it was so simple, um, it took me like 30 minutes to sew it together, um, it's not like I haven't sewn crochet together before, it, you know, um, so there was the, the front panel, the back panel, um, then I, I attached the sleeves, sewed, sewed it all together and then I've just cast on and done this um, neck band which is just simple ribbing, um, pearl one, knit one. That was a little bit difficult in that I felt this cable wasn't long enough so it was quite bunched up but it was only six rows. Um, I think maybe if I was to do it again I would make it a bit deeper because the ribbing on the sleeve is so much longer and on the end. Um, but I love it, what do you think? Really enjoyed it, I want to make more. This is the year of the Me Made wardrobe so it has actually I do actually quite like that it's so neutral. I did say I was worried about wearing a brown because you know when you see girls wearing flesh coloured tights and they look naked? I didn't want that but this actually complements my colouring quite well. I think it, it does look really nice. So I've got this little bit left that I want to use up. I don't want any leftovers. Um, I might make a turban headband you know the ones with a little knot like an ear warmer potentially um i've got a feeling there's an, another 400 grams of this in my stash i'm gonna check that i don't really want another jumper in the same color so i might de-stash that but yes completed garment um, as you can see it's the simple sleeves i don't know what this style is called because I'm not that amazing yet, but I love it. It's so snuggly, comfortable. I haven't washed or blocked it yet. Um, I probably will hand wash this for the first time. I think the ball band says that I can machine wash it, but I just feel really precious about this. Like when I was doing my hair, I took it off because I didn't want to get any oil on it. Whereas normally I'm like, meh. Um, yeah. Can you tell I'm pleased with it? The only things I would change if I was to do again, which I might do this pattern again and hack it slightly, is um, I would make this net band a bit smaller so it actually sits on me. Um, so more, um, so it'd sit more like this, but obviously with the proper decreases. But I just think it looks really cute like this anyway. Um, and then because one shoulder is long is further down, it hangs down a lot more. So I would make this sleeve shorter on purpose because when I pull it up, it balloons here. Um, and the back is slightly longer than the front and I would make the back just a little a couple more rows, maybe this much longer and the front a bit longer. But it is supposed to be cropped, but I wouldn't mind making a longer one. So that's my first ever garment. Um, I am now going to be casting on all of the patterns once I've found them. Um, I'm going to look for another free pattern in Aran or Chunky because I've got sweater quantities in my stash, including this 
burgundy. Can I rock that? But anyway, we'll come on to that. So this is the Eat Me Oversized Sweater. I am so proud of it. On to works in progress. You haven't seen this one. If you've been following me on Twitter, then you've heard me going on and on and on about it. Um, I, as you all know, want to reduce some of my stash. I want to start using a lot of it up, um, which is a decision I've chose to make because I want to be a bit more minimalist. Um, and I've decided that with some of the DK, I wanted to make a baby cardigan, you know, because that's a huge de-stashing object with it being 50 grams. But the other purpose for doing that, not only is it going to be a great gift to my friend who's just had a baby girl, but also it will help me understand garment construction because this is the only one I've ever made. Um, so I took to Twitter and asked whether you could use DK or do you have to use baby to make baby items um, and I was assured you could use DK and I was sent a link to a Ravel research and there are a hundred billion patterns on there. Um, so I cast on and I've already cast off this little object. It's so very nearly finished that I almost didn't show you until it was finished. Ready? A little cute baby cardigan that needs buttons, the end sewing in and blocking because it's rolling. But it's um so this pattern is by um it's called the Maxi Maxime. Um it also comes in MIDI and mini and the mini picture looks super super cute. Um Let's find it for you, which I might make in white, just to go with a dress because that looks really, really cute. So I went with the maxi because I'm stash busting and I wanted to use as much yarn as possible. I started a new 100 gram ball. This is how much I've got left. I don't even think that's used 50 grams. Um, it looks so cute. I have used, I've got the ball band in here somewhere, let's take them out, there it is. After all of that faff of can I use DK, does it have to be baby, this is actually baby DK, so it's called baby, it's super soft, um, DK with extra comfort for babies, it's 100 grams, oh I just ripped it and it calls for four mil needles or if you're in the US that's a size five um you can wash it in 40 degrees you can tumble down a cool setting which is great for a little baby and it's 100 percent acrylic so it's 340 yards or 310 meters in the 100 grams and it's this really cute yellow which doesn't seem to have a color Um, butter fingers. No, I can't see a colour on there. Can you? There's a hundred grams um, in this cute soft yellow, and the pattern is top down. I've actually used straight needles because I don't have that many circulars. I will be investing in a interchangeable knitting needle set without a doubt. Um, I will say straight knitting is okay and I know my nanny prefers that um, but I found I use long bamboo needles. Um, bamboo is enjoyable compared to plastic in that it just had some, a nice slip um, though I do love this glitter. So it was nice to work with bamboo and that's from my Kath Kidston set and I used, um, was it 4.5? 4 mil, I used 4 mil needles. Well maybe I used 4.5s. It calls for 4 mil needles, it says around 56 grams of DK which is 8 ply, you need 6 buttons. I cast on 64 stitches and it's worked top down. So I cast on the neck collar, 
um, and started to work my way down. So it would have been like that on my needles. And you get so far like here and you can see there, I need to sew that little hole. I've not sewn the sleeves up. Um, then you separate the sleeves and then you continue working on the body and it's got this really cute eyelet pattern which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make it. Because if you watched my last couple of vlogs I have made my own sock pattern that's got eyelets in it um, and I just really really like them. So you then finish the body and the ribbing and then you do the you pick up the stitches and do the sleeves. Um, it calls for four inch sleeves, but I just carried on knitting, so I think they're a bit longer, but that's okay, they can be rolled up. Um, and there's also the eyelet design on the sleeve. Um, so I've left long tails so that I can sew up that, the sleeves, and then I just need to darn the ends and put some buttons on. Um, this is for Snap, so if you watched one of my vlogs back in January, um, which I can link to, I made a blanket for Snap because we were unsure if Snap was going to be a boy or girl. Snap is now a girl um, with a name that isn't Snap, but she was called Snap when she was in, in uh, my friend's tummy. This is for Snap. Snap's mum, Emily, loves buttons, so I'm going to pick... Um, all different buttons, mismatching buttons for the six buttonholes um, just because I know she appreciates buttons and she will not mind that they don't match and then I can use stash I might even find six matching because I have a huge amount but I just like the mismatched thought um, so hopefully that will be finished and I am arranging to meet up with Emily I need to reply to her and I can gift this um, I don't know if I'll get pictures of Snap wearing it because I'm not sure if Emily wants Snap on social media. Maybe if I emoji her face, um, but I'll speak to her about it. Snap's first little cardigan. I want to make more. So I want to make the mini max scene in white as in for that picture. Um, usually for Snap's sister every year I buy her a new dress for her birthday and Christmas. Um, so I do like the thought of if she has some nice little cardigans that once I get her dresses she can wear them. But obviously Snap's going to grow at the rate of knots now. Um, this is for a th up to three months old. Um, I'm thinking of making some for her now, but maybe making that mini Maxine um, around Christmas for snap size. So she will be about 10 months then um, and getting her a dress or making, I might make a dress if I feel brave enough. Um, there's a few slight gaps in my stitches and not 100% irregular, regular, but once I block it, it should look really, really cute. So that's Snap's first cardigan, the Maxi Maxine. Um, you can change the pattern so there's just the one button at the top and not all the way down. Um, you can also shorten the sleeves. There's loads of different variations. That's a free pattern that I got off Ravelry. I picked that one because I could use straights and it's top down. This was constructed in pieces. And it's a jumper, that's a cardigan, it's top down. I want to try cardigans that are top up, that are pieces. I want to try everything so that I can start putting together my own wardrobe and my own patterns. I've got patterns in mind. I've been speaking to my mother who trained as a dressmaker um, about how I would construct some garments that I've seen pictures of that I want to nab elements of. So, watch this space. Um, so that's my finished object, my very nearly so almost finished object, um, and that just leaves for today a one of the work in progress, which is crochet, so if any of you are normally knitters, you're watching this, just a couple of seconds of crochet. Um, I showed you all my project bag. 
and thank you all so much for your um, lovely comments and your response to this. Um, it's quite nerve-wracking putting out your own design. You're not sure what people will say and you're all really, really nice. Um, I'm working on a version as the giveaway which is to go with this yarn. If you go back to my last vlog um, where I celebrate 100 subscribers, all the giveaway information is there. And I did say I wanted to start a clutch bag version um, and I have done the first front panel which is in the burgundy. This is the Audi Aran in burgundy. It was a 400 gram ball. Um, I show off the yarn in my vlog um, bargain yarn haul. I'm definitely wearing, gonna make something wearable out of this as well. Um, so I've done the front panel. Um, I finished that yesterday. Yesterday I went to a day long craft meetup. Um, I there was only the first. I think I'd done the first two rows and then the two squares on this one. I did the last of the rows sewn in the rest, last of the ends. And then I cast off, I completed and cast off snapped cardigan. Um, so it was quite a productive day. I am going to start the second panel for this um, and hopefully I will have a bit more to show you of that. But as for crochet, that's pretty much all I've done this week. Um, apart from the giveaway bag, which I'm not going to be showing until it's done, hopefully next week. Um, yeah, one other little item. Well, first of all, what am I, what am I going to be casting on? I'm going to go and have a look for projects and cast on a new jumper or cardigan, without a doubt. I've got um, quite a lot of denim blue DK. I think there's almost a kilo of that. So I need a project for that or multiple projects for that. Um, then I've got... Another untouched 400 gram balls of this, plus whatever's left here, which must be about 350 grams. Um, I think I'll probably need, I think there'll be about 200 grams of that at least once the clutch bag's finished, because there's going to be quite a lot of fringing on that. Um, I've got about a kilo of grey chunky yarn, and I've got some Aran tweed. I really want to use the Aran tweed. Um, so I'm looking for patterns, if anybody's got any suggestions. I've seen the flax jumper, which I've got, I've printed the pattern of actually. It's the flax, a simple modern pullover by Tin Can Knits. It's in black and white. I'll try to remember to put a full colour photo in. In one of the Facebook groups, there was a lady that had made that in a really nice coral. It looked gorgeous. Um... It calls for Aran wheat, so I could do it in burgundy. I have enough of this, I think, to make another jumper. Um, I could go stash diving. There's the Aran tweed, but I kind of wanted something with a bit more texture for that. Um, and how much does it call for? I want the size small. 850 yards. So yes, I'm going to be casting on more garments. Um, one other little object, well, project I guess to show you is this little heart. Uh, my friend Isabel from the English Lady Spinner has made these hearts. It says, please take me home with you and find me on social media. She's the underscore English underscore lady underscore spinner on social media. And um, she's also on Twitter now as well. Um, she makes these hearts and then she leaves them all around Leicester for people to find and people then tweet her or message her when they found them. She's given me this one and I think I'm gonna leave it in the city center for someone to find. And I also want to make my own because I just think that's adorable, really, really cute. So I will let you know if, well I won't know if anybody's found it, will I? But hopefully someone will message her and say they found it 
in the city centre, which would be my location. So I think that's really, really cute. Um, she's got a Facebook group as well, so you can join that and you can see when people have found them. So that is everything from me today and my new sweater. Um, the only thing is I want a little label, like a HD Designs label, um, maybe some leather ones, and then they're either going to go on the cuffs or across there or on the back of the ribbing, I can't decide. But I don't have them yet anyway, so... Um, thank you for watching, thank you for joining me, uh, comment below, subscribe, like, let me know what you think to this and the colouring on me, um, and as I said, go back to the previous one, I'm not going to be drawing a winner for the giveaway until I actually have the prize ready, so you've still got time to go back and um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what question you like to do in my question and answer. I ideally want to get that up and out next week. So have a lovely week. Happy making. Lots of moments, memories, making. Bye.